Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this video, I'm gonna cover the uh, new offering from GoDaddy called Websites Plus Marketing. So I'm gonna do the 30-day trial of it, spend some time looking at it, and give you my impressions of it. I've reviewed a lot of other GoDaddy offerings over the years. They obviously sell domain names, uh, website hosting. So I've also reviewed their options for building websites, like a website builder they've had in the past, also their GoDaddy online store product for building e-commerce websites, but it appears they've kind of packaged that all together and now are just offering this websites plus marketing option. So I'm gonna go through it in this video, hopefully help you understand if it might be a good fit for you. So I'm on the dashboard for a new websites plus marketing product that I set up. So this is what you'll see on the main dashboard. They have something called Insight, which is kind of a score of like how many things you've completed and how you compare it to other businesses. So it looks like my score is still calculating since I haven't really done much yet. They have an action plan that kind of walks you through um, some different steps by asking you questions like, do you sell online? So a lot of this stuff looks to be uh, based on selling products online. So if you don't do that, um, not all of this would apply. Um, then there's some other, they call it other ways to grow. Uh, you can publish your website, add products, enable credit card payments. So just some different guidance that they offer to kind of get you off and running. So they do offer different plans. So let me click on that. And we'll take a quick look at pricing. So it starts off at $5 per month and goes up to $13 per month. You would need this highest plan to have e-commerce to sell products on your site. Uh, it has secure SSL, you can get a custom domain, mobile friendly site, mobile editing. Some of these things are just basic like PayPal button, get found online. SEO is just um, kind of a large topic to just have a check mark or not. So we'll get into the details and show you exactly what they're offering there. Uh, this is the insight score that I just showed you. They do have some social media marketing included, uh, some email marketing. I'm not sure if these social media posts mean that they will post for you or that you just get to post. I assume it means you have to do it yourself for $13 per month. I don't think they're going to be posting for you. They have an online appointments platform and then e-commerce, which is only available again at this highest plan. So that's a quick overview of the pricing. Let's go back to the dashboard and uh, let's go to the website because that's probably the most important part of it. I'm just gonna walk through these steps quickly. I think I started some of it just by giving it a name and choosing like a design theme, but let's go back into edit site. You can see in the theme, I'm able to choose from a number of different design themes that they offer. They're taking a while to load as you see, but it looks like there might be 20 or so. And then over here I can uh, pick different colors and fonts. If I click customize the theme, it looks like I can just edit the site right here. So it's a pretty basic website builder, but it'll get something online for you really quick. So here's all the pages on the site, which I can edit. So this is pretty much the website builder here. Um, there might be some other options to edit more after it's published, but this appears to be the entire website builder. So it's very simple. Uh, it doesn't have a ton of features or options, but I think they're trying to keep it simple on purpose so they don't overwhelm people and just give you a simple way to get your website online. Um, here's the store part. So if I click manage store, I can give you a look at uh, what they allow you to do there. And this actually takes me back to the store section from uh, you know the main dashboard. So I can add products, do shipping. Let's click add product just to see what that looks like. So you can do physical or digital product. You got inventory options, shipping. So this is basically their old online store product, but it's kind of packaged into the websites plus marketing. So I just wanted to jump back into the website builder real quick to make sure I'm giving a complete or closer to complete view of, of what they offer here. So they do allow you to add different sections. So there's a lot more features in here. And the way I got there was by kind of scrolling over the actual uh, kind of design or canvas area. 
and then you can add a section. I can delete a section or move it up and down. If I click on this image here, it has some options like zoom, black and white, descriptions, adding a link to the image. So if I click add section again, you can see the different options they have, like adding content, like preset content sections, the introduction, photo galleries, about, blog, menu, price list. You can add videos. You can add a PayPal button, social feeds. Actually, you have MLS uh, listings. You can link up an IDX feed for real estate. Restaurant online ordering powered by Chow Now. So they do have some decent features in here for different types of businesses. So it's a fairly simple way to uh, get your website built. I'm going to go ahead and click publish just to see what happens. So since I haven't upgraded yet, it's just putting me on this um, temporary domain. I just want to click around to see how things look. And I haven't really spent any time customizing this. It's just pretty much the plain theme. So that's a basic overview of how you can edit your site with the uh, new GoDaddy website builder, part of uh, Websites Plus Marketing. So let me go back to the dashboard. So I showed you website and store. Uh, it should point out that they have GoDaddy guides. So these are just uh, people with GoDaddy who will help you kind of through this process. I have not tried that, so I don't know how it works or how good they are. But under marketing, I do like that they give you all these different options. So you can do coupons. Let's see what they have for SEO. So it looks like they're gonna walk me through some um, this wizard for SEO. And I assume it's gonna just uh, do some basic on-page SEO because for you know less than $20 a month, you're not gonna get much more than that. So if we go back into the marketing menu, if I click on Facebook, probably just gonna link me to Facebook allows you to kind of connect to Facebook, probably run ads there if you want, or get your page created. Same with Instagram, Yelp. If I click on email, probably allows me to set up email addresses. Uh, oh no, this is for email marketing. So you can create, you can have subscribers on your site and create campaigns to email them. And then your blog and ad credits are here as well. So ad credits are probably just some included credits for, um, you know, Google, Microsoft, and Yelp advertising. So it is kind of nice that they package everything right here. A lot of small businesses you know, are wondering about social media, Yelp, and SEO. So they at least get you started on all this stuff uh, and kind of put it in one place so it's easy for, for you to find as a small business owner. Under connections, it looks like this is just your customers, members, and subscribers on your website. And I don't have any yet since I'm just kind of testing this out. Under settings, I have general settings, shipping, payments, email marketing settings, and your membership settings. So overall, I'd say this website builder is probably similar to some of the other popular website builders out there like Squarespace, Wix, and Weebly, because they do all have some marketing integrations and SEO. Their website builders are probably better than the GoDaddy website builder, but I think GoDaddy is trying to keep it simple on purpose, um, assuming most of their customers don't need all the bells and whistles of some of the other website builders. So keep that in mind. If you do need more features and design capability, you might want to look at something else uh, like some of the other website builders I recommend. I'll link to my favorite ones uh, in the in a link in the description below. But overall, I do think this Websites Plus Marketing is a pretty good packaged option for small business owners trying to get a simple site and get some basic marketing done. And it's really convenient because everything's packaged in one account in one place. So hopefully that's helpful to you if you're considering this product from GoDaddy. I'll link to my website builder playlist here at the end of this video so you can check out some of the other website builders uh, that I've reviewed and that I recommend. So we'll see you on one of those videos.